Toro. Great. I'm so excited to see so many friends this morning. I know it's a little bit early for some of you to be getting up because I bet you've been sleeping late since we haven't been in school. But it's, we're so excited for our first virtual field day. Before we start, I just want to thank uh, Mr. Chicola and his friend, Mr. Freetag, the PE teacher at Daisy School, who are doing uh, such a great job putting this together. There's so many fun activities for you to work on with your partner. And I also want to thank uh, Mr. Barry from the high school TV studio. And he's with a high school student, Zach, who used to go to kindergarten in first grade and second grade at Gribbon School many years ago. So let's give a big hand to Mr. Barry, Mr. Peepleg, Mr. Cola, and Zach. Before we start, I just want to have everyone remember, make sure you're really, really safe. Safety is the number one thing, like Mr. Chicola says every time. Um, we cleaned up the school gym for this special field, uh, field day. And we hope everyone has a great time and have some water near you because you might need some drinks. So have a great time and I'm giving you a thumbs up to go ahead. Thank you. Okay, boys and girls, when I speak to you, I'm gonna take my mask down just so it's clear, but I want you to notice that when Mr. Freitag and, and myself were, were doing the events, we're still going to observe smart social distancing. So I know that you're home with families and I know that everybody's doing things a little bit differently with that in terms of taking care of yourselves, but please be smart, be safe. Please make sure you're moving in a space that's appropriate for you to move a little bit without bumping into another person or a piece of furniture or whatever it may be. Now, the other thing is you're gonna notice each one of the events Mr. Freitag and I do, they're gonna be from the packet, but everybody may be doing their event just a little bit differently and that's okay, there's more than enough room for each event to be modified a little bit for like where you're working or who you're working with. So in a couple of moments, we're going to begin. And you know, I really should introduce Mr. Freitag again. Everybody say hello to Mr. Freitag. He's the phys ed teacher over at Daisy School. Hello everybody, how are you doing, Gribbon students? So what's gonna be happening today is for each event, Mr. Freitag and I are gonna give a very brief reminder of what the event is. And then we're actually going to going to compete against one another in that event and then give you kids a chance to do the event in your homes. So each event is basically going to have three separate pieces. A little reminder, a little bit of a watch Mr. C and Mr. Freitag compete, and then you get to do it on your own. We're hoping that the whole event will be done in about an hour. So are you guys ready to begin? I'm gonna ask uh, Ms. Brian to, mute, uh, to unmute everybody's uh, microphones because I wanna hear everybody say, Let's go, Gribbon! 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 Push-up challenge. Now, event number one is listed as the push-up challenge. And what it is, is the youngest person goes first. And yes, Mr. Freitag is younger than Mr. C and he's going to give a number of push-ups that he says he can do. And then it's my job to either ask him to do that challenge or give him another couple that I think I could do. So if he, had, if he says one number, I'll say a couple um, more. And then he can either do that number with me or he'll give a final number. And then we both have to see if we can do that final number. And if we both can do it, whoever finishes first is the one who wins the challenge. All right, so event number one, the push-up challenge. Mr. Freitag, what's your number? You know, Mr. C, I think I can do 10 push-ups. All right, Mr. Freitag, I'm gonna go 15. 15? Oh my gosh. You know what, Mr. C, I think I can do 18 push-ups. Okay, 18 push-ups, so that's the number. Whoever can finish first. Uh, we have to be patient. We have to make sure that the camera can get it. Since the camera is in good shape. Yep. All right, so 18 push-ups. Okay, I'll see you on the market. Set, go. Ready? My mark, get set, go. Oh. Mr. Price, thank you. All right, 
right, so Mr. Crychead wins event number one. Everybody give Mr. Crychead a hand. So now take a moment and with the friends at home that you're doing this event with, give that a try. I'm gonna get my breath back because I'm exhausted and then we'll move on to event number two. Go ahead, everybody, we're gonna check the screen. All right, we're watching everybody. All right, let's see. Oh, I understand. Uh, now you can all begin on your own start. So everybody, you have a minute or two to get set up, and you start when you're ready. You didn't know they did. Okay, I see a couple of people doing their push-ups. Looks great. Come on. Well, we have to video it. They want to watch us do wow, it. Wow, nice job, everybody. Right. Good job, everybody. We see Ashley and Michael and Lila and Crystal. Good job, everybody. Good job. All right, boys and girls, you finish up. We're going to move on to the next event in just a moment. Okay, boys and girls, that was excellent. I hope everybody's got their breath back. I know I finally do. Now, event number two is a thumb war. So what's going to happen is Mr. Freitag and I are going to be facing each other here in the center circle, and we're going to clasp hands, and then the chant is one, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. And with our hands clasped, we have to see who can get their thumb on top of the other person's thumb and pin it for three seconds. Now, I don't know if you know these terms, but you're not allowed to take your pointer finger and go over top. That's called a sneak attack. That's not okay. Okay. And you're also not allowed to like pick your thumb down in your hand. I think that's I what that's called. But you can't do that either. You got to keep that hold going and keep that thumb up. Now, I want you to notice before we begin, Mr. Freitag and I are both going to go over to the hand sanitizer to make sure that we're staying nice and clean and nice and safe. Now, we're just going to do one round because we want you guys to be able to take maybe three rounds to complete. So, watch as we begin. I'm going to put my mask back on. We're going to clasp hands. Stay nice and solid. We're not going to let go. See our thumbs up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Oh. Uh, here we go. He's going to try to get my thumb. I'm going to try to get his. Oh! All right, Mr. C's even now. I finally won one. Right, now you guys have a couple of moments. Try to do three separate rounds. And you can even compete against more than one person in your house. So we're going to give you a little bit of extra time to maybe compete against your sister, then your dad, then your mom. All right, so do a good job. We're going to check the screen. Okay, everybody, we're watching. Oh, great job. Wow. All right, I see Patrick, great job. Ryder, looks like you're winning your challenge. You lost the other. Great job, everybody. All right. Awesome. I see, is that Juliana? No, oh, no, that's Orietta. I see Sienna. Did you win your challenge, Sienna? Are you working on it? Great job, everybody. Is that Aaliyah there? Okay. All right. All right, we're going to finish up. We're going to go to event number three in this moment. Okay, take a couple more moments, everybody. All right, so one leg at hot race. So I'm going to explain it. So when I come up on this, start moving. All right, I think 
we're ready to move on. Okay. All right, so boys and girls, great job. The next event, again, and I want you to make sure you have a good space for this. So it may be, you may have a little bit uh, longer run or a little bit shorter run. Mr. Freitag and I are gonna do a one-legged hop race. So we're gonna hop down from the floor around this cone and back. And again, no uh, regardless of where you are, just double check, make sure the surface is safe and make sure you have room to move. Now for the yeah. racing events, I actually have some fun music to add a little bit of excitement. So I'm gonna start the music and then get to my cone and then you're gonna hear me say on your market set go, Mr. Freitag and I are gonna race and then you can race your family members. Get ready. On your mark, get set, go. This is not funny. All right, boys and girls. So now you try that against one or several family members. Just again, please make sure you're being safe and that you've got the room to do this. So we're going to check the screen to see how you're doing. Oh, Ignacio, I saw that. Great job. Michael C., good to see you. Patrick, good job. Oh, Sienna, Sienna and her mom are jumping. Good job. Bianca, good job. Yeah, great job, everybody. I so sure you like your buddy. Yeah. All right, guys. Fantastic. All right, we're going to move on. All right, so boys and girls, the next challenge is going fast. Rock, paper, scissors. All right, so now this is a simple challenge. And again, this is one of those activities where I want you to compete against several members of your family. So maybe compete against dad in round one. Whoever wins that round competes against mom. Whoever wins that round competes against your sister. So we're gonna give you a little bit of extra time again to do that. And again, Mr. Uh, Freitag and I are just gonna get a quick hit of sand. Mr. C, I can't do it because I'm yeah. not. What's the question there? Was there a question? Yes. Yes, uh, Jason, what's the question, buddy? So, Ms. Brian, um, uh, you can I want to eat Star Wars meal, okay? Say that again, buddy? Does that want to get one? Or so. I think I have to stop the video. I'm sorry, buddy. Say that one more time. I'm having a hard time. Talk to him. I, um, there's no one to play e rock, paper, scissors with me, so, um, I don't know if anyone will come, so I'm going to go ask. Hello, 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 hello. Stop. Hello. Stop. Okay. All right, well, if you want, you, put, you can pretend you're playing against your subscribe player and myself right now. When you go, you can join in. All right? All right, so, boys and girls, the next event is rock, paper, scissors. Now, Two fingers up is scissors, a flat hand is paper, oh. and a clenched hand is rock. Now, rock beats scissors. So if Mr. Freitag and I show our signs and he does scissors, I do rock, a rock breaks scissors. Okay? If he stays with scissors, but I do paper, paper gets beaten by scissors because scissors can cut paper. Right? And if I do rock again, but Mr. Fry Tag does paper. Paper beats rock because a piece of paper can cover the rock. So we're going to quickly do three rounds. We're going to see how we do, and then you guys can do it with your family members. Here we go. Okay, Mr. C. All right, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, and shoot. Oh, that's a tie. So we do scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, and shoot. Oh, oh nice rock. job, Mr. C. Okay, so it's uh, two to one, right? 
Last round. Rock, paper, scissors, and shoot. Up. Two to two. His paper beat my rock. So now take a moment and do a couple of rounds versus your family members. We're going to check in on the screens. Great job, everybody. All right, awesome. I see Annabelle there. Oh, it looks like Annabelle and I want to go around. Great job. Sienna, great job. Looks like lots of fun. Yes. Awesome. I think I see Carmine there. There we go. Patrick, great job. Lila, great job. Crystal. Dominic, oh, look at all these guys. Fantastic, everybody. Oh, there's Amelia. Hey, so awesome, guys. All right, so you guys work your way through your families. I'm going to give you a moment or two to get one or two more uh, competitions in, and then we're going to go on to the next event. Show, but it, it, it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, as you finish up, come back to the camera. And yes, Mr. Freitag and I did in fact choose physical education books, so we want you guys to notice that. So this book challenge can be done in many different ways. You can simply balance on a body part. You can do your head or your elbow or even your knee, so that way you're balancing your body and the book. Mr. Freitag and I are gonna do a little bit of a combination. We're gonna do a walking race down around the cone and back, trying to maintain balance on our heads. So I'm gonna start my competition music, and you're gonna hear me say on your market set go. We're gonna see who comes out on top in this challenge. against your family members. So take a moment, make sure you have a good space, we're gonna check out the screen. All right. So the next activity is the paper toss. So yes, we did color coding for this. Ribbon is green, Daisy was red. You know, obviously you'll be doing whatever you can at home, whatever colors you have. So Mr. Friday and I are gonna do three separate 
rounds and then we're done, we're gonna encourage you to do the same. We're gonna do a short round where each throw is worth one point. We're gonna do a medium round where each throw is worth two points. And then we're gonna do a ball round where each throw is worth five points. And if you recall, that's a little bit like our clean the house game where we practice the concept of strength. So let's see how we do. Okay, round one. Go ahead and try that. Okay, here we go, Mr. C. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, okay, round two. Oh. Nice right. job, Mr. C. So round one was tied. Round one was tied. Good job, Mr. Whitehead. All right, now round two. Each throw is worth two points. Got to be a little bit stronger here and make sure we aim well. Go first this time. All right. <laughs> nice job. Let's All right. All right, so now this is the big round. Each one in counts for five points. Five ten, you're up. Okay. Here we go, Mr. C. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can make this count, Mr. C. Come on, Mr. C. Let's go. <laughs> Nice job, Mr. C. All right. So now it's your yes. It's now it's your turn to do that at home. And by the way, you know, Mr. Freitag's one of the baseball coaches here in, right. in our Glencoe School District. So I count that as a big win. Way to go, <laughs> Mr. Freitag. All right, you guys are up. We're gonna clean up. You guys start your event. Let's go, Gribbing kids. I see you working hard with your partners. Right, let's see how we're doing, guys. Remember, remember our throwing rule is point, step, turn, throw. All right, so point, step, turn, throw, guys. I see some kids doing a great job in their houses. Some kids Chris. are doing a great job outside. Hey, Chris, let me see you do this. Nice job, awesome, guys. students. I love it. You guys are fantastic. Hey, Giacomo, doing a good job, buddy. Emily, great job. Esteban, way to go. Juliana, way to go. Good job, Gabby. Fantastic, guys. Oh, I love these throws. I think there was the least there. Way to go. Way to go. Give it a shot. So, what throw? Now, Mr. Barry, can you angle it down so the kids can see me sitting on the floor? Mm -hmm. All right, so boys and girls, the next event is the paper airplane toss. Now, because Mr. Freitag and I are teaching and doing the event, we've already got two planes built. I'm going to sit down on the floor here and just show you very quickly, if you don't already have your planes built, a very simple way to make your airplane. All right? So you take a standard sheet of paper and you take one corner and you try to pull it in so that it folds over one half the width of the paper. So you see what I did there? I folded it in and I kind of have a little triangle. And then I go to the other corner and it might not be perfect, but I try to make another triangle that'll come in and meet. Now, ideally, you want both triangles to be the same size, so I'm kind of adjusting mine. 
I've never been a pro at making a uh, paper airplane, so I'm doing my best. So now I've got my two triangles up here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to imagine a line going down the middle of the paper. I'm going to fold the entire sheet over at that midline. So I end up with the paper folded in half, kind of making an unusual rectangle with a little angular top. Now I take one of the points here and I fold it back down. I usually go down until I touch the side of the paper again. And again, everybody does this a little bit differently. I have to admit my planes don't always fly the best, but it is a simple way to do it. And then you fold down the other side. And now I've got a little airplane. So what Mr. Freitag and I are gonna do, we're gonna do three rounds. We're gonna throw each of our airplanes, and for each throw, we're going to leave our airplane there, and we're gonna see which throw was the longest. Just in case we have a very close tie, I actually brought a tape measure to see if maybe his goes maybe a quarter inch further, but we'll see how that goes. We're not gonna get too worked up over there. All right, Mr. Freitag, you ready? I'm ready. All right, Mr. Friday, you can go first. All right. Let's see, Mr. C, here we go. Whoa. I don't know, guys. I think Mr. C's in trouble here. <laughs> My practice runs, I couldn't get that far. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Mr. Friday, has got round one. Are we ready for round two, Mr. C? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wasn't a good one. All right, you still have the long throw. Here you go. Round up. Oh. Okay. Oh, Round three. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Well, we're close. We're close. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so Mr. Freitag ended up with a long throw. Give Mr. Freitag a hand if you learned that round. So what we've learned here, boys and girls, is that Mr. C may be okay as a, as a phys ed teacher. I'm not a very good paper airplane pilot. I'm sure you guys are gonna do even better. So we're gonna go check the screen and see how you guys do. Let's see, guys. Whoa, who is that outside? That was awesome. Nice throw, Annabelle. Great job, guys. Oh, uh, Lila, good throw. I see Crystal there working on hers. Way to go, guys. Oh, nice throw up there. Blake, Mason, I can see you guys both working on yours. Hey, Mateo and Danielle, I see that. Good job, guys. Asa, that was a great throw. And on a side note, I love that Ava's airplane matches her shirt. Way to go. Uh, All right, Bree Bree, I see you up there. Way to go. All right, guys, we're going to go on to the next event. There you go, Allison. I saw that. I like your plane. Way to go, guys. Sienna and Jack, way to go. Great job, everybody. Yes. All right, boys and girls. This next event is a little bit touchy, I have to admit. It's called the Egg and Spoon Race. I'm just going to put this out there right now. I don't think your families would prefer you running around the house with an egg on a spoon. So I hope that you're modifying and maybe using a ball, maybe a golf ball, maybe a ping pong ball, because we really don't want to end up having a mess. Great. So what Mr. Freitag and I have, we have a couple of different types of paddles and a couple of different types of balls. We have a wolf ball, we have a, we have a gator skin ball. So we're going to do two different rounds. And what we're going to do is we're going to, once again, race down and back around the cones. And we're going to start off with like a level one, an easier race where the paddle's got a little bit of an edge to it, we're going to use the easier ball, so we'll use the purple paddle 
on the gator skin ball. And then we're going to go on to a much harder challenge. All right, so, you know, let's take a break real quick. If Ms. Brian could turn off the, uh, the, the mute on everybody. Let's hear a Griffin School cheer from everybody, all right? So on three, let's say, uh, why don't we do Field Day Rocks? All right, so get ready. On three. Field Day Rocks! Field Day Rocks! All right, here we go. We're going to go all together. One, Field two, day. three. Field, Field Day, day Rocks! rocks. Field awesome. Awesome. We heard that come through the speakers here, guys, and it sounded Field amazing. Uh, so Mr. Frog Tank and I are going to get set up. Again, if you can set yourself up with a ball, this might be a great chance for you to maybe find a ball in the house. So that, again, we're not using an egg and possibly making a mess of that. Yes. You, Mr. Frog Tank had a great idea. You can even use the paper ball you used when you did the throwing challenge. chance to get your equipment set up and take a few moments to do your turns whether it's against one person your big sister your grandpa your grandma or just a sibling whatever it is all right so we're going to check the screen keep it up guys So as you see, you know, Mr. Flytag and I are both wearing shorts and a t-shirt. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a pile of clothing at the far end of our race course. We're going to run down. We're going to have to put on that pile of clothing, and we're going to show you what we have. I have to admit, it's a little bit silly. And then once we're dressed, we're going to put our sneakers back on and get ready to stack. Now, again, you might have to do this a little bit differently depending on where you are and how much space you have. You could do it just stationary where you just have your pile of clothes and whoever can get them on first. All right, so we're going to show you how Mr. Frytag and I are going to do it. Now, 
uh, five minutes, less than five minutes. Well, All right, so see. Mr. Freitag and I are gonna have the same number of pieces of clothing and the same items, but there's gonna be a little bit of a silly theme here. All right, so two pairs of pants, two pairs of socks. Is that both of us? No, nope, just him. Now, you know, Mr. Steve loves the minions, so I've got one t-shirt. And you know, I love Phineas and Ferb, so I've got a gotta have a Perry the Platypus t-shirt. Now, see, Mr. Mr. Freitag's got all the athletic stuff. I have the silly stuff. I watch too many cartoons. And as you know, since I am a Superman fan, the top layer. Yes, I'm saying this out loud, is a Superman onesie. Now, Mr. Freitag is gonna have to put on a Batman onesie, and then we get our shoes back on, and then we have to race back. Are you guys ready for this? All right, we're gonna, hopefully guys aren't gonna be laughing too hard as we do this race. All right. Let's, let's get your, sorry. Yeah. So, race down, which you love that. Hold it. All right, boys and girls, are you guys ready? Let's see who wins the race, Superman or Batman. On your mark, get set, go. I just realized I'm not going to get my shoes back on. Did you realize that? Go, Mr. C.
Is anybody racing? Oh, good job. I see Lila doing it. Who is that, Daniel? Where you go, buddy? I see a lot of kids putting on bunches right. of clothes. There you go, guys. Yeah. Orietta, great job. Gabby? Where you go, guys? I love it. Super. Who is that there? Is that Anthony? Way to go, Anthony. Jack, awesome. Way to go, Ralph. Hey, Ralph. Give me a hello, Ralph. All right, guys, way to go. Allison, I love it. Allison, I love the old block there. Way to go. That's awesome. Great job, Brilliant students. Times so do you get to say this sentence? I saw my phys ed teacher in a superhero onesie. You saw two of them at once. So that makes today special in and of itself. All right, so this last event is really just going to be an event. I'm going to ask maybe Miss Bryant when we start the event to turn off the mute so we can hear everybody cheering. This is just going to be Mr. Mr. Freitag and myself competing in a little scooter race. All right, so you ribbon school kids have seen me drive a scooter before. You know that I've, I've got some skills with that. I have never seen Mr. Freitag drive a scooter, so this could be a good race. All right, so you guys ready? So I'm going to ask when uh, Mr. Freitag and I get set for the mics to be unmuted, we want to hear lots of cheers and lots of laughter. I got my green ribbon scooter. Red for Daisy. I put up my here. All right, guys, we want to hear you guys cheer and get loud. Louder, guys, louder. Let's go see how to get loud, Mr. Turner. Let's hear you cheer. They unmute themselves. All right. Yeah. Oh, Mr. C. You guys can unmute oh. yourself. Go, oh, Mr. C. Go, oh, Mr. C. Oh, Mr. C. All right, guys. Go, Mr. Go, Mr. C. Go, Mr. Go, Mr. C. Go, Mr. C. Go, Mr. C. Who wants to see Mr. Todd and Mr. Albert challenge us in the scooter race? Okay, here we go. It's going to be Mr. C, Mr. Frytag, Mr. Todd, and Mr. Albert all in a race. This will be a great race. This will be a great race. Let's go. Oh, Mr. Albert. No, no, no. no. <laughs> 
Go, Mr. Albert! I'm just gonna tear. Go, Mr. C! Go, Mr. C! Go, Mr. C! Alright, real quick. Who's cheering for Mr. C? Let's hear ya. Go, Mr. Woo! Go, Mr. Go, Mr. Right, Mr. Albert. Who's cheering for Mr. Albert? Who's cheering for Mr. Go, Mr. Go, Mr. Go, Mr. C. 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 Go,